Hi guys, so I'm Juan Sacco from Exploit Pack. Uh, on today's uh, video, I'm gonna show you a new end day uh, that we should discover for uh, Windows 11 and Windows 10. It's a USC uh, bypass that is stands for User Access uh, or User Account uh, Control. Uh, I'm gonna reproduce it uh, using a control control pack. I have two VMs here. Uh, my first VM is uh, with uh, Kali, it's running Kali, and I have a control pack running on. So first I'm gonna uh, run it. But let me show you what uh, a UAC actually is. I mean, surely you know, but I'm just gonna do a recap on it. So, uh, in Windows, you have the regular user and the standard user. And even though they share uh, different tokens, if you are using the regular user, then you will have admin rights, but you cannot run uh, uh, programs or actions. You cannot conduct actions as an admin without the uh, appropriate uh, integrity level. Um, yeah, so when you want to run something as admin, you will be prompted with a question. So for instance, let me show you first, I will run this CMD without admin rights. So this this on my left doesn't have admin rights. So if I type who am I is user, and this is just a regular user, who am I slash priv, and then it shows me the amount of uh, privileges that I have for this user. Now, if I run the same, the same CND, and then I click, uh, do right click on it, I run as administrator, then I will get this UAC prompt, right? So if I click no, it will not run. If I click yes, that's what I just did, I will get the same CMD, in this case with a different GUI. Uh, and then if I type who am I, I'm still the same user, but my my integrity level is completely different. If I do who am I slash prep, you see that I have a completely different uh, uh, privileged uh, scheme applied to my user. So I can do much more than the same user without these privileges. So why is this interesting uh, for us? Uh, basically, if you are, uh, if you have access to this computer and you want to run something as admin, let's say uh, who wants to do that, it could be, for example, a malware. Uh, uh, so this malware wants to run uh, admin uh, stuff in this system, like modify stuff from uh, C Windows System 32, interact with the antivirus, the firewall, and so on. That would require it. Uh, it would require admin rights, even though the user could have the admin rights. It will. Uh, it will have to. Uh, uh, it will have to do a new UAC prompt and asking the user, just like I show you. Uh, for the administrative uh, privileges. So, of course, if the malware, is, this is a CMD, but if the malware shows you something like this, you will click on no, and yeah, so that will be the end of the malware. So that's why we want to have um, UAC bypasses for Windows. So from a security perspective, of course. And so we found one. That's, and it's going to be included into exploit pack, but I'm going to show you how to reproduce it uh, with uh, with control pack because it should be quite the same. I'm going to I'm going to show you here. This is control pack, and then in order to reproduce it, you have to go into remote control, open .NET profiler. So it's just one of the agents. And then, of course, select the, the IP uh, of your choice. In this case, it's, this is the IP that I'm going to be hosting control pack on. The port number is going to be the default. And then choose uh, select the .NET Profiler DLL. Generate DLL Profiler. Save it. OK. And then you have to move it into your target machine. I already have it here, so I have to uncompress it, extract all, there you go, extract, 
All right, and here are some instructions on how to inject this uh, uh, .NET profiler, DLL. So what you have to do first is to move uh, the exploit pack DLL and the config IP, AP into the C Windows task folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Windows task, and then choose put it there. And then, uh, well, it's ask you to launch any .NET, uh, .NET based application to be profiled and injected, and it will be injected with the exploit pack uh, DLL. Uh, that, uh, if successful, will connect back to to here. But we don't want to do that. We want to bypass the USC, right? We don't want to do that because, at, as it is right now, if we open a, a terminal, like let's say, if we open PowerShell or something that will trigger uh, .NET, it will inject through the .NET profiler uh, the exploit pack DLL into it. But we don't want to do that. We want to go uh, a little bit uh, further and auto elevate this DLL into admin. So get admin privileges on this uh, through this DLL injection. So in order to enable the profiler, you can either set the environment variables for your user or add the registry keys uh, for this. So we're gonna uh, add these registry keys because then we don't have to reboot the machine for the changes to take effect. So we're gonna open a CMD, choose like the same user, of course, and then paste. And now it's activated. You don't have to restart the, the computer for these changes to take effect because we add those uh, environment variables to the registry, uh, then it, uh, it means that it will take effect immediately. So we have enabled the version two profiler. We set the profiler path, well, in the end here, the profiler path to C Windows Tasks exploit pack.dll. That's where we put the DLL here. And then of course the DLL uses config.ep that uh, the config.ep uh, takes the the host uh, and the port uh, and the port. So that's where it's gonna connect to. And then we choose enable it. So core, uh, core enable profiling one, and then core profiler, we use this uh, uh, hard-coded uh, class ID that it's just something that uh, I define it, but it could be uh, something else. And then of course the improc server with the same class ID, and this is gonna how it's gonna be called by .NET, the .NET profiler. So this is the same class ID. All right, but now we're gonna trigger the UAC bypass. So how do we trigger that UAC bypass through this uh, .NET profiling injection? Is by calling the printers and then from here. And this works uh, either for Windows 11 and Windows 10, so any, any version. So, and remember guys, so if I choose a regular user, I do who am I slash priv, I will only get these privileges, right? Okay, because that's not admin. All right, so let's trigger it. I'm gonna trigger it by running the troubleshooter. And now my DLL has been injected into the auto-elevated process. Uh, it drops this uh, dot, uh, .txt file that as you can see, I cannot open it because I don't have admin privileges. See, it's opening the, the, the latest the, the instructions, the, the, the file that I opened before instead of open 7224 file. And now if I go into my control pack, I click on the new uh, agent, you see that this is the PID identifier 7224. That's the same for the uh, TXT file that we uh, drop. And now here, uh, if we type who am I slash pre, then after the execution of the command, we will see the privileges of this uh, of this agent. And as you can see, this agent has uh, successfully bypassed uh, UAC, and now it has full admin privileges. So, and of course, from here you can you can do whatever you wanted. 
And uh, a good example is that if you want to ask for the screenshot, it will bypass uh, everything because it's already admin. It's, uh, it doesn't need to bypass anything. And you can get the screenshot without asking for permissions on anything like that. Yeah. So if I click on it, I can see the full screenshot. That's from the from the Windows uh, machine. Okay. Thanks for uh, tuning in, guys. And besides this, uh, this choose uh, discovered end day for uh, and remember this I, I i choose uh, show you how it works using control pack but the exploit itself will be uh, included in the monthly uh, end days for exploit pack so if you don't have exploit pack you are missing out check our website exploitpack.com uh, uh, and then you will see uh, our three products we have exploit pack Control pack that the product that you are seeing right now is uh, is our take on a on a cool uh, C2 that is undetected, um, and then we have also as well a kernel pack our rootkit with C2 functionalities. Check it out. If you have questions, leave it on the message uh, on the on the comments uh, below. Uh, yeah, and see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.